I might add, that was a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I, it's a great pleasure to evaluate Emily uh, today. And uh, but before I do that, I'd like to welcome our guests and share with you the opportunity uh, that I had to evaluate Emily. In doing so, Emily's objective was to research her topic and then deliver a well-researched topic and of course the typical Toastmaster of a good body, I mean a good opening body and close and to leverage those, uh, the skills that she's learned to this point. This is speech number seven in the uh, Competent Communicator Manual. And Emily, I thought you definitely demonstrated that to a T. You did do a well-researched presentation, in other words. You took us into an area that I certainly had no knowledge of, and I, I find it very daunting to even talk about the subject. After three kids, you would think I'd know a little bit more about it. But in any case, um, thank you for that. Uh, as I mentioned, it was well-received, uh, good information, great visuals. Um, like the slides very much. Excellent topic again. And of course, you always have a pleasant delivery, so you did a nice job. You look comfortable and natural up here, etc. <coughs> I have a few suggestions in terms of what I would work on from the standpoint of it. Uh, the first comment probably is just a function of time. Spend a little bit more time on the topic to where you feel comfortable enough to where you can let go of those notes a bit. And one of the ways that I cheat on that subject is I leverage the visuals for that purpose. In other words, if you, you really think of the visuals as an outline for your speech, and if you do that effectively and print out a, a hard copy for yourself, you could have the visuals here. That accomplishes two things. It helps you with notes to yourself. It allows you to glance here and always maintain the, the visual presence with the audience and you're not spending a lot of time looking to your left or to your right. So that would be one of the areas that I would think of going forward. I want to encourage you to do that. The other thing that I've learned about visuals is that you could have too many of them. And I, I think I've seen guides in terms of PowerPoint presentations where their suggestion is that you have no more than three or four bullets to a slide, but in three to four words to align in one or two minutes per slide at the very most. So that's something to think about as well. But uh, all in all, that's not part of this manual and therefore that's just some a, a bit of additional advice, if you will. I thought the speech again was well constructed. You certainly achieved the objective. You informed us on a number, on, on many topics uh, associated with the growth of a child, and I look forward to your next number eight speech. Thank you. Okay, we have a timer report. Yeah, there are two uh, evaluators, and David was uh, two minutes uh, forty-eight seconds. 